For decades, Japan stayed silent. No threats, no flexing, no warnings. But while the world was watching China build the J-20, Tokyo was building something else. A fighter jet that doesn't just dodge radar, it hunts radar. And the final jet on this list is so advanced, Chinese pilots would never even know what was the cause of their destruction. Stay till the end, because the final jet on this list isn't designed to win air battles, it's designed to end them before they begin. Number 10, the F-15 DJ Aggressor. At first glance, it looks like an old trainer. That's the trap. This jet exists to hunt Japan's own pilots in training and break them mentally before a real war ever begins. It mimics Chinese flight patterns, Chinese radar tricks, Chinese electronic warfare. Entire squadrons report their radar going completely blind when this aircraft enters the fight. Targets vanish, then missiles appear out of nowhere. It can reach Mach 2.5, but speed isn't what makes it dangerous. It's the fact that it teaches Japan how China would lose. Number 9. The Kawasaki P-1 It looks like a civilian aircraft. That's intentional. Under those wings is enough firepower to erase a naval task force. This thing doesn't chase fighters, it stalks fleets. From beyond visual range, it can launch wave after wave of long-range anti-ship missiles, flying so low over the sea that ship radars detect them seconds before impact. It doesn't rush, it doesn't panic, it waits, and then it wipes the ocean clean. Number 8. GCAP this jet hasn't even fully revealed itself yet, and that alone terrifies analysts. Japan, the UK, and Italy merged their best technologies to create a fighter where the cockpit no longer looks like a cockpit. There are no traditional screens, no clutter. The pilot sees the battlefield through an augmented reality helmet that shows enemies through clouds, through terrain, even through the aircraft itself. Reaction time is no longer human. The jet thinks first, the pilot approves second. Number seven, the Subaru Loyal Wingman. This is where warfare stops being human. This unmanned fighter flies beside Japanese pilots, watching everything, calculating everything. And if a missile locks on, the drone doesn't retreat, it moves forward. It throws itself into the missile's path without hesitation. China calls this concept unethical. Japan calls it survival. In a real fight, this drone means the pilot lives and the enemy never gets a second chance. Number six, the F-35B. This is Japan's return to aircraft carriers without saying the word carrier. These jets don't need long runways. They rise vertically from the decks of converted Izumo-class ships, turning open ocean into invisible air bases. Stealth fighters launching from places the enemy didn't even know existed. By the time radar detects them, they're already gone. If you're interested in the modern warfare topics, then please take a second to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much. Number five the Mitsubishi X-2 Shin Shin. This jet was never meant for combat, and yet it changed everything. It proved Japan could build its own stealth technology from scratch. In the air, it does things pilots aren't supposed to survive. It can abruptly slow, pivot, and flip its nose back toward an attacker in an instant. Missiles overshoot, enemies lose lock, dogfights end before they truly begin. Mach 2.25 is just a number. The real weapon is control. Number four, the Japanese-built F-35A. These jets don't fight alone. One aircraft sees the target, another launches the missile. The enemy never sees either. Information flows silently between Japanese jets through secure data links, turning the entire formation into a single distributed brain. Japan operates more of these than any country outside the United States, and they use them as invisible commanders, not just fighters. Number three, the Mitsubishi F-2. It looks familiar, that's the mistake. 
this jet is larger, stronger, and built almost entirely from Japanese carbon fiber. It was designed for one mission, killing ships. Its missiles skim the sea at supersonic speed, hiding below radar until the final seconds, then rising just enough to strike where defenses are weakest. One hit can cripple a carrier, two can end it. This jet doesn't seek air superiority, it denies oceans. Number 2. The F-150J Japanese Super Interceptor Japan took an already terrifying aircraft and turned it into a flying missile arsenal. This jet can carry more missiles than almost any fighter on Earth. It doesn't dogfight, it floods the sky. Long-range weapons, cruise missiles, anti-ship payloads, all launched from extreme distances at extreme speed. Mach 2.5 isn't about chasing enemies, it's about arriving before they even realize they're being hunted. And now, number one, the Mitsubishi FX. This is what all the silence was for. Japan's first sixth generation fighter isn't just stealthy, it attacks electronics directly. Instead of firing a missile, it can unleash energy powerful enough to fry the brains of incoming missiles and drone swarms mid-air. Radar dies, guidance systems collapse, the enemy is left blind. Its skin isn't passive. It senses damage, adapts, and compensates while flying at supercruise speeds beyond Mach 2 without afterburners. No heat spike, no warning. And it doesn't fight alone. The FX commands a swarm of loyal wingman drones, directing them like chess pieces in the sky. Some scout, some jam, some die so the pilot doesn't have to. Japan never announced these jets to intimidate anyone. That's the most dangerous part. While other nations chase numbers and headlines, Tokyo built silence, speed, and certainty. If conflict ever breaks out in the Pacific, it won't begin with explosions, it will begin with radar screens going dark, pilots losing control, and fleets realizing they were targeted hours ago. And by the time the world understands what just happened, the jets responsible will already be gone. This isn't about domination, it's about ending wars before they're allowed to start. One final thought. Japan didn't build these jets for war footage or parades. They were built to make enemies hesitate, second guess, and back down. If a nation can disable you before you even detect it, is that power or restraint? Comment what you think and subscribe because the next video goes even deeper.